Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Yeah, good, Professor. Doing good. Good, good. Staying safe, everybody. Okay, awesome. So, in the last lecture, what we did did we do in the last lecture? Uh, you did uh, to task one PHP mailer from the like uh, your. So we learned that how to use PHP, PHP right? PHP. Awesome, right? So what should we do next about it? What so, so one thing I will send you email. Uh, can you please check? Actually, in the last lecture, I also got some internal server error. So I did. Now, the, now you have sent it already? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, let me check it. Which oh, yeah, 40, 40, oh, 40. Okay, sure. Let me just check. Uh, okay. Probably three, uh, three mail. Uh, you have so many mails. <laughs> <laughs> three, actually, yeah. Subject in the first two subject is blank. Actually, I messed up with typo. That's why. Give, I, give me a minute, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Menthon, yeah, you have got, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've got your email. There is no subject though. In and the first two, there is no, in the third. Uh, in the third, you have the subject, yeah, testing PHP mailer, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Avinash, I have received from you also. Avinash, is he here or no? Yes, sir. Okay, just, just give me a minute. Okay. Gee, yes, okay, good. So let me note it down, please. Okay. Not here. Okay. So great. So I was asking that what should we do next? Yes. So we learned that how to send that email, right? So now let's integrate it with our system, okay? So let's try to integrate it, okay? So how can we integrate it? So the deal here is Let me open your code. Okay, and which file we were working on, by the way? CMS folder. Me dot PHP. Uh, me dot yeah. Me dot PHP we were working on, right? Yeah. And we needed to make the. Yeah, we have made the login procedure actually, right? And yeah, so let's check the current position of the code. And uh, let me share my screen. So these days, you know, they are charging heavy, heavy fine for not having masks. You know, whenever you go out, please wear the mask, uh, share. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if we have, uh, let's see, what was the account you know made? 
so those people having mac they were having some trouble with the database is this problem is got resolved or still there stall sir actually uh, in the map server they are giving php my admin database okay so have you resolved it now yeah sir yeah okay great well yeah definitely you have to read something somebody will explain it to you yeah they this is the problem and this is how you resolve it right yeah they are already give their software yeah the very good also. yeah very good okay having done this thing so this is sq right sq so we come back over here so we sign in right this page contains my personal information right and uh, public this page can give all information home right and me go back to me the sign out sign out right so once sign out you cannot go back to my wall right it will uh, send you back to please sign in first okay right you can go to public you can go to home right uh, you can go to me and in me you have sign up you can have say for example this email try sign in right the account info does not match right so basically it is working okay so beautiful so what do i want next forgot password thing sir huh forgot, forgot password. password yeah we can make forgot password definitely yeah so uh, hmm. how do you want to make it so, so send an email link to forward the password yeah yeah of course but at the front end so maybe you know we just make it uh, very roughly right yeah. without using beautifully uh, made javascript or uh, css right simple simple yeah we can just use anchor tag and make yeah yeah just make it simply right and then just run the you know server side procedures for now right that would be better okay okay so having said this thing having said this thing so what should i do okay so this is cms right so let me you know let me copy that uh, mailer function from over there over here right so php email to right this is where i installed it right and i copy this entire folder from here copy and paste it right over here paste okay okay so okay we have got this vendor folder over here right so we have got this vendor folder over here okay what else should i bring so we have got this vendor folder an email via php mailer function yeah yeah definitely but what about these uh, these files also right yeah because they are dependencies so without it it will not work okay. right so basically we have to bring them also but does it allow me to select multiple files no so let me come over here so go to windows where are you guys first uh, first column top first oh, column. that's 2019 uh, okay okay right 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 thank you very much okay and here this one and let's copy this this and this right so we copy them all go step back go to cms and we paste it over here 
Okay. So once we have tested them all over here, let's go back over there. Okay, let's close it. Mm -hmm. Let's close it. So we have got these files over here. And let's have this email. What is this? Okay, yeah, this is that thing. Okay, let me convert it into a function first. And okay, let me bring in the password also. So I come over here. Uh, do you have git ignore file over here in the for root of the folder? Yeah, we have git ignore. And uh, we learned this thing that it does not work with the relative path. So I come over here and I make a file in CMS folder with the name uh, mailer, PHP mailer password, PHP mailer or just password is good. Gmail password, Gmail password dot PHP, right? So let me create a file here, new file, Gmail, password dot PHP. Huh? I'm sorry, typo and ignore file. Say it again. Uh, typo and ignore file. You spelled the Gmail. Say it again. I could not quite catch you. I'm sorry. In the git ignore file, uh, there is a spelling mistake. Oh, uh, in a spelling mistake. Get ignore file. G. Uh, G. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you very much. So, yeah, as soon as I corrected the spelling, you can see that it has turned gray, right? So it, it is gray because it means that it is no more bit tracked, right? So let me put my Gmail password over here. So I say PHP. Okay, so let me bring it. Give me a minute, okay? Okay, so let me resume the sharing. So I have placed my Gmail password. You cannot see it because I have placed it on the right so that if I accidentally even open the file, it should not be visible. Okay, so I just close it. Right, and I have placed it into git ignore also, so that you know uh, nobody can see it. Uh, okay, let's come back over here, 
okay not here so we have got this uh, gmail password.php file and uh, where is that uh, email okay we are php mailer right dot php okay good so we have got this file and where I say, let me come over here. Let me say require once gmail password.php. Since they're in the same folder. Okay, and uh, I come over here and I give that password dollar. type in the file name huh type in the file name oh again <laughs> thank you thank you very much appreciate so dollar gmail password right so it will come from there okay very good and i think that it should work so let me just uh, send it to somebody uh, for example can somebody give me his or uh, his or her her is or her so anybody uh, one wants to give me their email address over here yeah manthan v patel sir m a n t a t a n t h e n a n a a sir a n so m yeah m a n right manthan yeah. v p a t a l right e l sir E L right, yeah. right, Gmail call. So here we say menthol. It's a Gmail password. Twenty second. Hmm. The line number twenty second Gmail password. Oh yeah, you have right. What was happening with me? This Gmail is misspelled. So, so you have to change in the that uh, file also. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, sure, sir. But this this same. That's why I didn't tell that. Uh, okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, great. So having said this thing, so Menthan Patel, so Menthan, right? Menthan Patel, I can say Menthan Patel. Okay, great. So having done this thing, now let's open this page and as I open this page, this mail should go, right? And this will tell me that everything is good up till here and then we'll start working on it, right? Okay, so let's open this page. So what is the page? What is the name of the page? Uh, it is send me, not send, email Via PHP. Via mailer dot PHP. Right. So let's see what is the end message. Message has been sent. Right. So it is working. Please check, Menthon, that have you got this email? Yes, sir. I've got okay, it. Great. Very good. Thank you very much. So basically, this page is working. So now let's convert it into a function. So once we want to convert into a function, so we come here. So you have already done it. So please let me know if I am doing something wrong here, okay? Okay, so having done this thing, now what should we do? First thing we have to do is to mention global dollar gmail password 
Okay, otherwise it will send us an error, right? And here, now what should we give? We must give to Subject. and we, we should give to name, to name, right? We should give subject, we should give, do they call it body here? Message. Message. Uh, where are they saying message? Uh, bottom. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah they are saying body. Body. Right? So let's say body also, right? So because body will going to match with body. Okay. So basically body. Okay. What else? So we come over here. So we can just, you know, comment this particular uh, line because it will, it sh this line shows the entire, you know, thing you see on the page, right? So let's remove it. And send from, instead of mailer, we say Dr. Zep CMS. Right, anything you can write. Okay, and uh, this is instead of this thing over here, we'll say what we'll say dollar two, right? Hello, and here we'll say dollar two name. Okay, very good. We come down, so this is subject. So here we say dollar subject. And here we say dollar body. And once you sent it, Right, so here instead of echo, we return it. And similarly here, uh, so instead of echoing, we throw. Let's do this thing. Throw a new exception. Right guys. So make sense. Right everybody. So we have created this function. And uh, so if we want, we can actually remove the rest of the junk. Um, or let it be like this because it, it will stay here as a reference. So Rest of the things are good. Save it, right? And let me do one thing. Let me test it. Copy. What is this thing down there? Okay, yeah, after this, paste. So once again, dollar two is equal to menthon v at gmail.com is it right hello 
Is it correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Dollar to name is equal to Manthan Patel. Dollar subject is equal to testing dollar body is equal to hello testing one two three hello 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 okay right so now if i open this file this email should go because i am calling this function down there right guys and so i can do one more thing here that for the time being i can just you know uncomment the line over here save it okay and reload the page okay and then i got it got it you have got it right yeah. right so basically this new email is being sent it means that conversion to this function is also good right conversion to this function is also good so this this is done this is done now we have to connect it with our main project so let's so close it and uh, okay let's not close it because we probably need to refer send email as the function and we go to our include files includes okay let's include it in in that particular file only so it is in me.php right and uh, we come over here um so after the head we say php required once and name of the file is email via php email right can you see it email via php email dot php okay very good so we have got this uh, file required over here right and now we want to make forget password thing right so forget password thing we want to make so where should we write the code for that yes yes please so somewhere we had that if if statement if sign in huh? where is that if sign in right this one no not this one where is that statement hello Twenty-six line number twenty-six. Oh yeah, and down there actually, you know, down there it, it should not be up there. I was looking at so right over here, not twenty-six over here. So this has sign up procedures, sign in procedures, and now let me make forgot password, right? So let me copy this. Very crude, right? Not because we are working on the server side currently. and this is what i say that uh, server side working is as if you are working with the gearbox and engine parts so your hands are all dirty with grease and you cannot work with the beautification of the car right so css is like you know painting the car or koshish you know doing koshish or doing interior detailing the car this is css right whereas we are working currently on server side which is like working on engine and gearbox and you have grease on your hands so we we cannot do this thing simultaneously okay 
So here we say, one got password. Okay. So here the user is going to give the email, right? He's going to give the email and then, you know, so let me have this type text. Name is pin. Placeholder is Please get the pin right. And so I'm not uh, doing every cosmetic thing yet. So type submit and this is the button get. Okay. Hmm. Right, guys. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, which you can see very ugly tip of the iceberg. But the mechanism would be quite a bit tough to make. So let's reload it first. Oh, oh, oh what has happened? Why is it sending the there's a car, okay. Oh, okay, why? Do you know why? <laughs> when we integrated it, we did not. We did not do what? Okay. We should have commented this part, right? Because this was testing purposes and we have to comment it this line again, right? Because it will create that Okay, so we have to debug. Okay, we have to do this thing also. Okay, once we have done so, let's come back over here, go back, right? So forgot password. So the, the intention over here is now that somebody would enter the email address and as they will click here, that email will be sent. Right, so it needs a little bit of JavaScript, right? So let me just write that JavaScript for you. Uh, maybe you might be interested in it. Uh, and maybe some people already know it. For example, Ankit probably and Menthan know, already know about it. And probably Shriyash also knows it. Uh, but for the rest of the people, it might be a little bit off, but do let me know if it is not making any sense at all, right? So let me have a little bit of JavaScript attached over here. So let me come back over here. Let me close this particular file. Okay. No, this is not you. This is you guys. Okay. So here down there, I just write a little bit of JavaScript. So I come here, enter, and I enter a script tag. So this is JavaScript. And let me say source is equal to. So where is the source for that? So I have this public folder. And within public folder, I have made uh, CSS, right? And I have not made JavaScript folder. So let me make JavaScript folder over here. So new folder, let me name it JS, right? And here I write a little bit of JavaScript. So maybe what should I name it? So new file, so I name it Ajax. function dot JavaScript. 
right? So I have just made a little bit of this JavaScript file. Let me uh, walk you through the procedure. So first thing I'm going to do is, I'm sorry. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is that I will just write an alert. Connect it. Right, so that we know that the JavaScript file is connected now. Let me come back here. Maybe I have not provided the source. So source is, where is the source? So it's dot it. slash public slash JS slash Ajax function dot JS. Right guys, save it. So once we have saved it, let's go back over there. Reload it, right? So this alert is coming connected, right? So it means that the JavaScript file is loaded, right? So now we can start writing our JavaScript. So basic purpose is to, you know, give you, a, you know, other than other purposes, uh, give you an idea that how exactly do we write code? Right, once we are doing coding, right? So how do we think, you know, what is the thought process to actually develop a code? So this is exactly which I want to, uh, you know, convey you. And if I'm successful, I would be very happy. Okay. So let's go back over, okay, let, let me just name a few things over here. So this is that uh, email. Okay, let me, let me ID it, right? So ID is equal to forgot email, right? So just a reference. And then this, uh, okay, I don't need an ID for this. And uh, okay, let's have this thing up till here. So ID is forgot email, right? So let me come over here, copy it. Rather me, let me copy this thing. Copy this. And go to JavaScript. Let me remove it. So I say, let email is equal to document dot get element by ID. Right, so I have got that email field. Then I say email dot add event listener, right? So basically I have start, start listening on it. What event should I do over here? Click. No, my focus out. Okay, focus. So as soon as I focus out of it, right, I should be able to send this uh, Ajax, right? So focus out. So let me show you. So MDN JavaScript events list. Okay. Control F. Focus events, right? So yeah, focus in, focus out, right? So blur. Okay, we can use blur or we can use focus out because the difference is bubbling, which I don't want to discuss at this point. So otherwise you can use blur, you can use focus out both. Okay, coming back. Focus out. And as the focus gets out, you run this function, right? And what you are going to run is 
that you are going to send a request to uh, to send a send an email, right? So we come over here. We say. Let XHR is equal to new XML HTTP request. So this is a request to send something to the server at the background. And then we say XHR dot open right and it is going to have a get request and a url right guys and we have to make the url so url would be equal to so here we need to have a url which will send our mail so Yeah, so we, we make our URL. So basically, uh, let's make a, uh, let's make a folder here. So let, let's go to this public folder, new folder, PHP, servers right so that's name php servers and within php server let's make a new file send email send Uh, background email dot php right so this is the this is the file where we want to send the request right so we come back over here so url is sorry so url is dot dot slash okay so we are sitting in the root so we need to go to public then we need to go where then we need to go to php servers then there is a file background email.php So this is our URL where request is gonna go. And once request goes over there, uh, so then we have to send it out. So we say xhr dot send. Okay. And here we'll say xhr dot what was that on load? Hello, everybody. On load uh, is a function. XHR, line number seven. Okay, XHR, sorry, thank you very much. XHR dot on load. So if XHR dot status is equal equal to 200 alert something uh, xhr dot uh, what was that response text xhr 
else let me say console log instead of alert uh, else console log status so we have made a little bit of javascript right and let's test it for for a minute and then we work on it further so and let me go over there in this php background and let me say echo sorry testing okay maybe testing one two three okay let's reload 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 okay inspect element console there is no error for the time being look i come over here i focus out okay something has gone wrong so i have written too much of code without testing which was by itself was a big mistake so i need to go back and tone it down a little bit and then you know check it again so this is connecting so let me do this thing let me just comment this entire thing over here right and let me just say console log i am working okay save it so i am working console log so reload it okay now there is a syntax error there is a before function body right so this is some syntax error okay let me see where line number 4 okay i actually commented little too much so for example if this is a function ah okay somehow that pattern also got deleted actually right can you see that pattern is missing that uh, uh, brace is missing right and yeah 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 okay so let me just comment this control s and reload so if i come over here and press here so i am working right so basically can you see this thing so as i come over here click back i am working right so it means that javascript this function that focus out is working right event listener is listening correct right so event listener is listening correct now let me uncomment this and let me see that what is the issue here so save it once more once again and once again reload and we come here click click out right so now it is working right can you see this thing that this i am working is coming from the front end but testing 1 2 3 is actually coming from the server right so basically request is going to the server and server is not doing anything just testing it is echoing back testing 1 2 3 and this is working so error was that brace was missing actually this was the error right so we have got it rectified lucky we so we come back over here so this is this is working this is working so we come back over here so what should we do next now this is where 
this is where we have to send the email, right? But we need to tell which email we have to send to, right? So let's get the email. So we come over here, we say, let me do one more thing that make it required. It is already required, right? Okay, let me come over here and let me say, let email address is equal to email dot value right email dot value so it will get the email address and we integrate this email address over here so question mark email is equal to plus email address right so basically now we are sending this is how we send a parameter with the url right so we are sending the parameter with url we need to check this thing that whether this parameter is reaching over there so we come over here we say if is set, right? If is set, what is set? Dollar underscore get sub email, right? If it is set and if it is proper email, right? So filter war. filter var this thing filter sanitize email right I'm sorry validate email right so we validate the email So filter validate email, what else should we check? Uh, that is not necessary that we can trim, you know, that, that okay, if you really want to do so, we can trim it here, but not a big deal. One more thing we would want to check that we are not logged in right now, because if you are logged in, then you should not be able to send this request. Because if you are logged in, then you have not forgotten your password, right? Yes. Are you getting me? So we say uh, dollar my session, right? Dollar my session sub is logged in. And one thing is missing here that we are not including this thing, right? So we have to include it. So we are sitting here and we have to include, we have to go in the includes and include this inc.php file, right? So we are sitting where? We are sitting in the background. Hmm? Hello, right? So we are sitting in PHP server, right? So we say require once. What do we require? So dot dot slash. If you want, you can also say underscore underscore dir underscore underscore dot 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 slash. What? So you come. So you are sitting in PHP servers. You come out of it. You you have reached to public, and you want to come out of public, and now you are in CMS. And from CMS, you go to includes. And from includes, you have to go to the file with the name inc.php. Right, guys? So we say that, okay, if uh, 
is logged in. So basically, if you are uh, not logged in, right? So not logged in. Right, not logged in, then echo. So testing at every moment. Testing one, two, three. Right, guys? So we have checked the prerequisites for it. Let, let's don't echo testing, let's echo out the email address. So say doc, dot dollar. Two is equal to what? Two is equal to uh, filter var dollar underscore get sub email comma filter sanitize email. So let's echo out two. Save it. Are you getting me guys? So let's see if we if we get this email back, right? So now we have to check back. First we are checking that something is going and coming back. Now we want to check that email is going and coming back, right? So we come over here and we reload it. And we say SK, right? And we click out of it. Okay, something has gone wrong. So fatal error uncalled call to undefined method session is logged in. What is the method name? Method name is wrong, right? So let's go to the session file. And what is the name of the, look, once your code is organized properly, right? So you know that exactly where you have to see. So is sign in. So maybe spellings are wrong here. Oh, is signed in, not logged in, right? So is signed in, right? So we save it. So look, you know, at every step of the process, we have to check that errors are being rectified. So let's put the email address once again. Look, that email address is returning back. Can you see this thing? Yes, right. So we were able to send from the front end, we were able to send the email address to the server and it is coming back to us. Right guys? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. great. So once it is coming back to us, now what should we check next? Uh, pin number is valid. Uh... Validity. There is no, no pin no, number. No, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Valid email address. First thing we have to check that you know this by this email address, do we have a, actually a user? Yeah. So basically, you know, uh, sending p a pin is the next step. But first, we have to check this thing that is this email address belong? Does this email address belong to a genuine user? Right. What do you think? Yes. Uh, okay. Right, so basically we have to check this thing. And for that purpose, we have query already written in uh, our DB object class. So, so here, look, we have public function find in DB and column name, right? So this function should work for us, right? So this function should work for us. So basically, and this, we have to call it on the user. So first we create a user, empty user with that, with that email address, and then we'll call it from there. So we come over here. We come over here, we say dollar user 
is equal to new user hello everybody are you quite getting me yeah. save it right and let me copy some stuff so where should i go and get copy something so maybe over here in uh, where should i go me.php right and here i would have code on the top let me get this And by the way, I was getting a little bit more careful, right? Because this user is being created and, uh, you know, it, the user by itself will check the sanitization and validation of, by itself. So we need not to do it, but okay, you know, we have done it now. It's perfectly all right. So we come over here, we say email. Or dollar two, right? Dollar two. And password is there's no password. No password. Okay. So having done this thing, so we want to create this user. This is like an empty, empty user. Let's do one more thing. We enclose it in try catch block because a user can send an, as an exception, right? So let's do this thing. We enclose it in try catch block. Cut it all. What is this place for? This is if place, yes. So paste it here. So now I have created a user. And I come back over here and I say dollar user sub. Uh -huh. What is what was the name of the function once again? Guys, I, are you got guys got lost in somewhere wilderness or you are still with me? Hello? Are, are you getting following me? Yes, sir. Okay. yes sir. So insert, no, not insert into DB, find in DB, right? So find in DB. Right, this is the function we have to call and column is email, right? So what is it returning? Whatever it is getting, it is returning them all, right? So this is what we are getting. So find in DB. And instead of column, we have email, right? We want to find relative to email, right? So what, let's do this thing. Let's war dump this. Right, and let's not, okay, war dump, war dump is not going to work here. So let's do this thing. So it is going to be an array. So what should we do to convert this array into a string so that we can see it as a string? So find in DB is going, okay. So what should I do? Anybody knows? I have to figure it out. So what should I do? I don't know. I have to ask somebody. So maybe Google my best friend, ask PHP array to string. Okay. Implode, right? Implode is a function. Let's see how do we use it. So implode, okay, right, right. And this is space, right? So implode and this. Okay, so echo works with the string, so implode. So 
So implode and what do you want to put with between? Maybe asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Right. So basically, we are imploding this whatever we are getting there, and we are returning it. And once we catch the exception, we echo. We echo. Dollar e dash get message. Okay, so we have written this code, and uh, we are ready to test it now. Right, that you know whether we are able to find that person or not. So we come back over here. Reload it. So S K. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. So basically password, guy got it, the password is not very good, right? So we come back here and we just give some good password, right? Which is according to the policy, right? Then it will work. So, re, so let's send it back. Reload. Okay. SK. Come over here. Okay, look. Notice array to string conversion in this online this. What is the notice about? Huh? Line fourteen that is some memory change. Say it again. Line fourteen that is some memory change. Some notice, right? Line number line number eleven, right? No. Line number, line number fourteen. Yes. So background. Okay. So let's see what is the issue. Let's do one thing. So instead of doing this thing, we say. Okay, look at it now. How I'm going to test it, right? Let me show you. Hmm. Copy, paste. Okay, so okay. Right? Are you getting me that I have made that URL, which was I, which I was make, making an AJAX request, right over here. Right? And now if I will send it, it will tell me something. So look, it has found uh, found the user, right? So it is it is able it was able to find the user, right? If I give him the wrong one. Right, so it is giving me the empty array. So it means that this part is working. Right, look, testing, you know, this is very important that you should know that how do you test 
how can you test somebody? This is very important, right? So we come back over here. So this part is working, right? This part is working, this part is working. Okay, so we are getting the right user. So, and what are we getting over there? Let me just double check. So we are getting an array, right? We are getting an array. So we come over here, we say, empty. If not empty, right? If it is not empty, right? If it is not empty, then then do what? Yes. Generate a confirmation code then you know then you have to send that email right then you have to send that email right so so how to send that email right so for that for that what are we going to do okay one one more thing we can do so we can have this Cut. Did I cut right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. So cut and let's make it result is equal to this sub zero or maybe, you know, it might be empty. So don't worry for it not for now. Uh, why is this getting red? Oh, because of this. So dollar result. So if it is not empty, then we will start constructing the things, right? So what are we going to make here, right? Dollar two is equal to dollar result sub zero sub email. We could have taken email from here also, which we already have, but both are good dollar to name is equal to first name, right? Uh, dollar subject is equal to right pin for your uh, set password hmm? right and what else uh, let's generate the pin also so we come over here, we say dollar pin is equal to rent uh, on right. So basically, it will generate a random number between ten thousand, uh, between hundred thousand and uh, a million, right? Less than a million. So basically, you know, this would be a six digit number, difficult to guess. Okay. So we are generating this pin and, but the deal is before we send this pin, before we send this pin, we need to save it in the session. Otherwise it would be gone, right? Once the user is gone from this page, it, it would be gone, right? So we say dollar underscore session sub pin right so we have placed it into the session right 
and once we have placed it into the session let's have an expiration time dollar underscore session sub pin expression is equal to what uh, time which will give us the current time plus five minutes right so five multiplied by 60 so this pin is valid for five minutes right or maybe if you want to make it valid for 15 minutes you now we can make it valid for 15 minutes right guys yes. hello everybody yes. so once we have done so once we have done look you know on the tip of the iceberg there are just two fields email address and pin but in the background we have to do how much coding can you imagine? Right? So basically, you know, uh, we have uh, this time plus uh, 15 minutes, right? So basically, this is the expression. And uh, it is good to put pin in the subject, but it's your policy. Depends upon the policy, right? So here we say dot uh, dollar pin. So we have, you know, so then we put the body. So we can say like this, dear uh, where, 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 where? Two name. Right, first name. Our two name is good also. Yes, you're right. Very good. Right, dear this. Right. Uh, Here is the password reset pin for you. If you have not blah, 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 right? So basically you can write that part and add the sincerely, etc., etc., whatever you want to say, right? So basically this uh, pin is there. Okay. Okay, so once it is done, then what we are going to do, then we are going to call that function. So basically, you know, not in me, this email is not gonna go from me. So let's remove this include from here. Right, are you getting me? Hello. And we put it here. Okay, so where we are sitting right now, we are in this file, we are sitting in PHP servers, right? So PHP servers come out of PHP servers. It will go to public, right? Come out of public. So two folders up and there we have this particular file, right? So we come over here, we say, underscore underscore dir underscore underscore dot backslash dot dot backslash dot dot backslash 
right guys hello and here we say we come over here and we call for this function okay i did not want to make it but since you asked for it so you i said okay let's you know make it because this is quite a bit of lengthy procedure right so now we have got this uh, email sent right and once we have the sent right we can echo it out echo um uh, please check your inbox for pen right and you can mention more okay come back over here in uh, in this and here instead of console logging we can simply say alert right hello everybody okay save it right keeping finger crossed let's go back and this is our cms so reload it let's close this window for now let's enter the new email address okay but the deal here is that let's make an account right mental let's make your account right oh what is this error coming uh, undefined variable pin actually sir we uh, set the pin in the session but we declare ah, uh, we didn't declare the pin okay 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 yes you're right so why didn't you have to you know you should have asked me man <laughs> Hey. Okay. Nice good, okay? Right. So this is the pin. Okay, good. So let's go back here. So Manthan. Right, last name Patel. Email is Manthan V. Patel. Correct. At gmail dot com. Password is one two three four five six. Right, and we sign up. Right, a new account is created. Please sign in. Okay, so basically, new account is created. So you have got an account here now. <laughs> so go and just check that account is created right so mentham tell you have got an account right okay so once you have got an account this uh, sorry uh we can actually test other things also for example if we say mentham so for now if we say my wall you know this sign in right so we come here we say mentham patel Right, sign in. Is signing in my wall, right? So go back here, sign out, and now say you have forgotten the password. So we say, right, and we focus out, right. So please check your inbox for pin. Please check your inbox. Have you got the pin? Uh, yes, sir, I got the pin. 
uh, finished three six. That functionality we have not made yet. Okay. <laughs> right. So basically, we have made this functionality that it is going to send you the pin. Right. Hello. Right. Yes. Sir. So, yes. So yeah. So yeah. Now now we have to make that functionality that which will get the password. So why don't I give you as a homework that you do it yourself? Right by tomorrow. Okay. So you complete this functionality now. Let's see how can you do it, or how do you do it? Make sense? Yes. Sir. So any doubt, any issue with all this coding we have done today? No. So so basically, you know, whatever we think, we do that way, and you know, let it go with the flow of the code, and it works for us. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. let me stop share. So tomorrow I'm going to check this thing that you know uh, how do you uh, did you do this homework and uh, please do it enthusiastically. This is a good homework. So let me do one thing. Let me uh, share again. Share. Let me push the code right in front of you. So we say CD space dot dot CD O D P summer of 2020, right? And we say get status. Okay. Nothing to commit. Oh, web programming. Okay, CD space O D P summer of twenty twenty, right? And we say get status. Okay, look here. I must be watchful that. Which file was that? Password, right? Password is not going anywhere. Can you see? So we have this JSON is there, composer.lock is there, email valid, uh, via php mailer.php is going, JS is going, public slash php servers is going, vendor is going, but okay. So we come back here, we say get a dot. Oh, sorry. Oh, so many get status. Okay. Oh, okay. I did not exclude the vendor folder. I should have excluded the vendor folder also. Right? Somebody knows of the top of their head that what is the command to unstage? I think a git reset proposal. I don't think so, my dear. Let me check. Um, stage. Yeah, get reset head and then get checkout dot. Okay, so no, 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 but get checkout dot will, will delete the changes also. So get reset head, right? Or we can revert the, revert the last commit. No, that we do, don't want to do, my dear, because if we revert to the last commit, what will happen that today's work would be lost. Right? Oh, yeah. So get reset head. Okay, get status. Okay, good. Let's go back over there. And where is my get ignore? This one, right? 
and we come over here we say dot slash cms slash cms slash what vendor vendor Yeah, now it has gone gray, right? And uh, let me do one more thing. Um, just give me a minute. Uh, just a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. So coming back here, let me share it back. So we say get a dot, get commit, Minus M, work in progress on forgot password. So composer.json log, email, Ajax function, background email, right? So these files are gone and you're good to work on it then. So, hi guys. Yes. Did we push the file commit changes? Ah, did I not push it? No, sir. Oh, sorry. Hit push. Thank you. Right, wait. So, guys, thank you very much. And I'll see you all tomorrow. If you want to have me for office hours, you can stay in communication. Otherwise, you can simply log out. Thank you very much. We have a good rest of the day. Goodbye. Thank you. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, just a minute. Yeah, I have marked you guys for sending that email. Yes, both of you. Yes, sir. Yes. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I'm good, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, sir. Take care.